Um, he's whipping her. We've got Indiana Jones here. I did a whip her. Yes, you did. I think one of the reasons why the children are bouncing off the walls is because they're just kept inside all the time. Is this all your backyard? Yes. Wow. Big. Yeah, I mean, we don't play outside a lot. It's just that we're stuck in the house a lot. You're stuck in the house. So it seems like a lot of aggression goes on because we don't, they don't get out enough. No, they don't like it. They love to be out. I'm a bit lost. Hold on, they like going out. They love going out. But they're stuck inside. They oh, are. Yeah. I don't get that. That's yeah. <laughs> This week, I'm in Taunton, Massachusetts, ready to help a family who I believe desperately need my help. So we better look, right? Hi, we're the DeMellos. I'm Don. I'm Diane, and we have three kids. Damon is six, Dante is four, and Gianna is two. A skeleton! <laughs> I told you no, see? Our house is a very stressful, chaotic atmosphere. <laughs> There's a lot of screaming, <coughs> yelling, fighting, <coughs> throwing things. Neither one of us have control. Damon. Damon is a strong-willed child. He likes to get very angry and physical sometimes when he doesn't get what he wants. Dante is a middle child. Dante became the screamer of the house. Gianna's a sweet little girl who's actually becoming angry. She is picking up from her older brothers these bad habits, that's for sure. Whoa, oh, what a surprise that the little one's copying. <laughs> My day is random. I don't have a schedule, so it's constant just chaos and running around and getting in the car. There's no routine. Stop! I do not want to live life like this any longer. Eat your lunch. It's too stressful. There's no joy here. Everything's so sad. <laughs> I just want the household to be more happy, more loving. Super Nanny, we're at the breaking point. Quiet. I hate you, Mama. Please come and help us now. We need you. Guys, you're being pushovers. You better buckle up because things are about to change. I'm on my way. I was a little nervous and anxious. I wasn't sure what she was going to tell us or how we were going to handle what she had to say to us. Hi, what's your name? Dante. Hi, Dante. Pleased to meet you. And, and who's this? What's your name? Damon. Say hello. Hi. Yeah. Is Don around? He's at work. He's at work, so I'll get to see him later. Yes. <laughs> it wasn't long before I saw Mum put discipline into practice. I didn't like what I saw, and I didn't like how Damon was talking to his mother. Damon, don't turn it on. Do it, Mama. We can play it later. When we have time to play it, we'll play it later. I hate you. Well, then now you're not going to play at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You won't play later, and you won't play. Get off of me, Damon. <laughs> Not only was Mum's so-called discipline ineffective, but I really couldn't believe how she was tolerating the way her son was speaking to her, calling her stupid mama. I mean, when did that become acceptable? Um, he's whipping her. We've got Indiana Jones here. I did a whip her. Yes, you did. I think one of the reasons why the children are bouncing off the walls is because they're just kept inside all the time. Is this all your backyard? Yes. Wow. Big. Yeah, I mean, we don't play outside a lot. It's just that we're stuck in the house a lot. 
stuck in the house. So it seems like a lot of aggression goes on because we don't, they don't get out enough. No, they don't like it. They love to be out. I'm a bit lost, hold on. They like going out. They love going out. But they're stuck inside. Yeah. Oh, I don't get that, that's... Yeah. It's just so tough with three of them running in all directions. My husband wasn't out there. I couldn't finagle three running in all directions. So oh. a lot of times, you know, we always stay in the house. Right. I mean, it's every child's delight to have such space to be able to skip and play ball and run around. And yet, mum's not even using that. What time did the kids get out this morning? They get up at about... Eight o'clock. So for almost six hours they've been in. Yeah. yeah. It does blow me away, really. I mean, they've all got cabin fever. They stick in the house 24-7. None of them go out. 15 minutes, Mum. Then so I decided to take the kids outside just to see how chaotic it can be. Mommy. What, honey? Why don't you go play? Oh. Play in the swings? Go play, honey. When they got outside, they didn't know what to do, and Mum stood around, and they stood around. They don't actually come out, do they, into a park or an open field or a... No. Sometimes, you know, in the summer, we do pools and more activities, but other than that, I don't take them anywhere. No, I mean, I can, I can see. Yeah. It's just because they're kind of just standing around not knowing what to do, really. Yeah. Any other kid would have grabbed a football or... Right. You know, be grabbing their bike and trying to ride it on the grass or climbing up on the slide. God, it's all doom and gloom, isn't it? And now I've seen it all. These kids don't even know how to have fun in their backyard. Mum's just not enthusiastic to be around the kids and to do anything with the kids. It's like she's sleepwalking. What she needs is a good wake-up call. Eventually, Dad came home. Yeah, they come oh, home again. Hi, baby girl. Joe Frost, pleased to meet you. Nice yeah. to meet you too. Yeah. I introduced myself. He went upstairs to change. He didn't really acknowledge Mum. I thought that was a bit weird. And then when he came downstairs, I thought, better ask these two about their relationship. So are you guys on the same page? Same page as far as what? Your parenting. You communicate most often of about that? Yeah, most of the time. He said they do communicate, but she said they don't. We don't communicate. We don't communicate about it, but we're on the same page as far as we do the same things, which is a lot of talk, no action. A lot of talk, no action. <laughs> <laughs> well, we just repeat ourselves and the kids don't listen, and we have the same techniques. Don't do this, stop. Yeah, we only do as much as we know, really. We're rookies, you know, what do we know? What do we know about parenting, you know what I mean? Rookie? You've got three kids. How can you be a rookie? Hardly a rookie. Hey! Soon I got to see Dad's idea of discipline. What are you hitting her for? This is where boys go to don't behave. For Daddy! Why did Daddy put you in the chair? Yeah, yeah. What does shut up mean, Dante? Yeah, yeah. Dad had Dante on the chair, then he was having a conversation with him. Put your foot off the table. Don't put your feet on the table, put them down. Why do you say that all the time, Dante? You want to tell Daddy why you say that? He kept trying to reason and go over and over. Get back in that chair. Hoping that Dante that say, oh yeah, Dad, I know, I get it. Yeah, I really messed up. Never mind, I won't do it again. It's a picture. Don't be Daddy. Oh. So, does that, that's time out, yeah? Yeah. Is he finished it now, or yeah, he hasn't? Finished. Or he, he's finished it now. Yeah, and then he just said, "Stupid daddy again." <laughs> he just doesn't get it. So, so was your time out effective? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. Partially. What do you feel? No. No. I realised that Dad is asleep at the will as well. He knows what he does doesn't work, but he does it anyway. What do you want to drink, Dante? Water? I've seen Mum and Dad deal with discipline separately, so now I'm going to be interested to see how they handle dinner time together. I don't want it. You like this? I need you, I don't want it. What do you want? <laughs> you want cheese? But even before we got there, the kids had kicked into high gear. <laughs> Told you. This is what I made. I'm not making a second meal. Give me that. He wants fish and chips. Come on, Damon, eat what I made. <laughs> And then I couldn't believe what I heard. 
So I'll make a chicken. Mom got up to make the second meal when she said she wasn't going to make it. Why would you make more work for yourself? I, I just want to please him. But do you, do you look like you're pleasing him? I mean, seriously, look. Look at this little one's face. Do, do you look like, do you look like you're pleasing him? No. And just to drive the point home, Damon decided to tell Mum what to do with the first meal after she'd made the second one. Macaroni. Oh, you know. What did you say? You wanted the macaroni too? <laughs> yeah. This is cold. No, it's not funny, really. I feel I mean, like a warm. Just... What's this? Can I ha he asked for some macaroni with it. And now it's cold, so go warm it up. Yeah. Mum's looking at me like, huh, can you believe this, kid? And I'm looking at her like, huh, can I believe you're doing this? <laughs> Damon, come eat. Right, I'm calling it a day. I have seen more than enough. We do need to have a family meeting and sit down and discuss what's necessary in order to see change here. So, yeah, yeah. nice and early tomorrow. Right, okay, family meeting. Beautiful. Thank you very much for today. What this family are doing, they know is absurd. They know it's wrong. It's just really lazy parenting. Tomorrow morning, nice and early, adult conversation. Okay. I don't know what the future holds or how much longer till one of us breaks. Good night. Or till the whole family breaks or the marriage breaks. Good night. I think tomorrow's going to be a real wake up call for mum and dad in the family meeting, but they need it. Hi. Hi. So let's get straight down to business. Deep down, none of you are happy. The kids are sad, the kids are angry, and actually the pair of you are not doing your job together. You chose to have these kids, to raise them. Oh, yeah. I thought it was gonna be easy. I yeah. thought they were gonna be well behaved. You get married, you have kids, and everything's great. Who told you that? Normally. Just the way I grew up, fairy tale, and I had no idea it was going to be so much work. Do you know what? I just, I really, I find that hard to believe. I just don't see no enthusiasm. There's nothing interesting about you being around your kids. You have three children who need their parents' interaction, who need to connect with you emotionally, mentally, who need you to feel like you give a damn being with them. You're uninteresting. Seriously, Diane. Watching you with the kids, your face is, your, your, the lights are on and no one's at home. There is not an ounce of enthusiasm for you being around the kids, not an ounce. Everything's an effort. Well, it is. Think. They won't stay happy for more than five minutes. I can't please them. I don't no think I'd be happy. I, I can't please them no matter what I do. I get on the floor, I play, I call her. There was no enthusiasm. It was like, oh, I've got to do this because I'm supposed to do this. Not that you wanted to do it. You didn't want to do it. You didn't want to do anything with your kids. And no, they see that. It's not true. It is. I don't agree with that. There is no effort there. I love my kids and I get on the floor, I color with them, I play with them. You know them. what? Seriously? I'm more of the activity person. I'm very creative as far as coloring and arts and crafts. Where was it yesterday? Where was it when I was observing you? Where was it? Yesterday was one day. No, where was it? I don't, I, I don't know. At the end of the day, it's not happening. And it's heartbreaking for them. But also, you're missing out. You know what I'm talking about, because you're sitting here getting emotional. You're getting emotional because you know. You know what your boys are missing. You know what your boys ain't getting. Kids need it. Yeah. We do love them very much. Well, I talk a good talk, but I can walk a good walk. And right up until now, you guys have been talking a good talk, but I need you guys to be walking it. So are we in or are we out? Because we don't have time to waste here. Mm -hmm. I'm in and I'm ready. Right, then let's get to work. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Hello. Hello. 
the first thing I do want to do is to go in and help Diane and Don create a routine that's going to help put a lot of stability in the children's daily lives. So talk, write down your cornerstones, and then we're going to add a few more things in. So why are you writing talk? I know, so write down. That's what well, I'm thinking, that's why I got confused. Writing. You're talking. We're talking. <laughs> Seven o'clock. This is that you are so not used to talking. You're like, right? No, we don't want to write oh, talk, Diane. We don't want to write talk. We want to talk. Yeah. Okay, so Damon up at six forty-five. Once they can make a routine and not be overwhelmed by it, I think it's going to be more manageable for Mum to be able to do her chores and actually spend time with the kids. Right? Why didn't you do this a long time ago? It was just wow. It's, it's that simple. This routine would have something new for the DeMello family. Playtime, activities. You'd think that they would have a list of things they would want to do. But hey, who better to make the list than the kids? Swing sets. Swing sets. Great, let's write that down. I think it was the first time since I've arrived that I saw these kids actually smile. Mega. The whole family was involved in you know, making the activities. Does Dante like to ride the bike too? Yeah. You can see the sparkle on their eyes. I, oh, I want to do this, and I want to ride bikes, and they were shouting them out, and it was just great. Hands up who spends too much time in the house. We'll see you. The family did a great job in writing down ideas, but later on, I am going to have to put them to the test when it comes to them going out together as a family. Now I do need to implement discipline, and I have been given a perfect opportunity to teach that because I've just seen Dante lash out at his brother. What else? Hey, 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 behave. Dante, that wasn't a nice thing to say to your brother. It was also a chance to teach these children that it's not okay to shout out stupid at others. Don't just call him stupid, he had a very good idea. That's not a nice thing. Okay, please say sorry to your brother. Yeah, neither is mommy and daddy. You don't call people stupid, that's not nice. Dante, if you don't apologize to your brother, I am going to put you in a timeout. Yeah. Please tell your brother you're sorry. So? No, look at your brother and tell him you're sorry. <laughs> Dante stuck his heels in. I'm not apologizing. I'm not saying sorry. So you think about it. If I don't hear it, you're going in time out. And then mum jumped in and undermined me by pacifying Dante, which clearly shows me why discipline has never worked for this family. Now, hold on, look what you're doing. Tell me what you're doing. Look what you're doing. Just consoling. <laughs> Correct. I'm trying to teach your child the importance of having respect. And to console him is basically say okay. that a stroking that is then okay. making me the bad cop. It's not about that. I needed to show mum that discipline does work as long as you follow through and you don't cave in in pacifying your children. It's all right, it's all right. You didn't, you didn't say you're sorry. You didn't tell that. You didn't say you're sorry. Mum and Dad looked at me like, really? Is she, is she really going to do this to my child? <laughs> Mum was holding her daughter like I was the big bad wolf. I mean, if you want your kids to learn and change their behaviour, it means as a parent, you've got to get tough every now and then. And because you didn't, you're now going to stay here for four minutes. <laughs> And when they saw that Dante just sat on that chair and understood what he should be doing and thinking about, they realised there was a point in purpose of why it was necessary to do. Dante, I put you in the timeout here on the naughty chair because you did not listen to me, OK? I want you to apologise, please, and tell me you're sorry. <laughs> Dante, I'd like you to tell me you're sorry, please. Sorry. OK, apology accepted. Let's like give you a hug and kiss. Okay. I feel better about the timeouts. Before, I would just put them on the chair and just let them run away after a few minutes. And I thought timeout didn't work. But I realize now there's a the right way to do timeout. So it does work. Damon, Dante, look, I've got something to breathe Come over here, look. When these kids get angry, they call out stupid. These children don't get the opportunity to express how they feel internally. So what I'm going to do is introduce a technique that will help them. What we have here are 
Lollipops. Different kind of lollipops. This is going to encourage the communication by allowing the children to freely choose the lollipop that represents how they're feeling. When Joe brought in those uh, lollipop sticks with the little faces on them, that's a little challenging. Naturally, at first, I'm thinking my kids are too little for that. This one is when we're feeling silly. Ha, 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 ha. We're feeling silly because we want to do silly things. I thought that was adorable, the way she laid them all out, and the kids were excited to see what each one was going to be, and they couldn't wait to pick out how they felt. Damon, which one are you feeling right now? Silly. Okay, you pick it then. You hold it. You're feeling silly. Okay, what are you feeling? You're feeling happy. Okay, Dante, how are you feeling? You're feeling loved. Using the lollipop technique will give the children the opportunity to explain how they're feeling if they want to. And if they don't want to talk about it, at least we've made the first step in them holding up the faces. And later on in the afternoon, I let the parents put that technique into practice. Let them decide, let them decide. Okay. <laughs> What's that one? I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> My kids are definitely uh, a lot smaller than I thought. The age factor is a factor, but not like I was thinking. What do you got, Damon? I'm thinking. You're feeling angry? How come? <laughs> I'm going to time out. Huh? You're angry about I'm... time out? I can see Damon opening up more now that he's got those lollipops because he can't wait to show me the way he feels. So it's nice that. I can understand him now. I'm what? We are actually going out on an adventure. So with Dad at work, I wanted Mum to address her worst fear, and that was taking all her kids out in public. <laughs> Would they behave the same way they do inside? Basically, we're going to parent on the fly. We're going to deal with it as it happens. I thought, oh no, what kind of adventure is this going to be? Because I wasn't sure if I was going to handle all three kids. So we're on our way to the supermarket now. Because what you're going to do is pick up the kids' lunch. It's one of the biggest nightmares I have, taking three kids to the grocery store. All right, oh, you've got your kids behind you. Never have your kids behind you. Oh. Dante, no, come on, we're going to go get our lunch. Boys, Dante, come here, please. Dante, come okay, here, please. This is where you need eyes at the back of your head. I had to remind you a couple of times to keep the kids in front of her. Gianna yeah. picked those out. Gianna. Because when they start to lag behind, she doesn't know what they're doing. You can have that for the picnic. You like onion rings, Dante? They have the onion. Uh-oh. I looked down for Gianna and she was gone. Where'd Gianna go? I've got a mum who's not watching where her younger child is. And it's as simple as that. Help me find her, Dante. Mommy. Eyes at the back of your head. Mommy. I'm not messing it. with you here. Right. When I came back with Gianna, mum's face was panic stricken. You were focused on that deli and your head was turned. I'm telling you now. You've got to be diligent. Gianna, no running. Stay with mama. I was thankful that it wasn't a stranger, and I knew there was a lesson to be learned. If mum learns to keep an eye on her kids, she'll actually realize that she can have fun with them and actually enjoy being out. <laughs> Dante, we're going to go have our lunch, and then we're going to come up and play. They were well behaved. There was no fighting. That's a big pickle. So far, she's doing a fabulous job. I hope that this has really encouraged mum to get out of the house more so that she grows that confidence daily and the kids start to enjoy themselves more and so does mum. You want to go upstairs and see what they have upstairs? Yeah! It was a nice day out. I feel I can take them out a lot more. Somewhere that's interesting for them, let them explore and have a good time. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the other house. No, Gianna, don't throw food. No. Later on, Dad was back from work and Gianna was kicking off. And as these parents both know how to do discipline, I thought it'd be a good idea if Dad did it. One warning, 
Okay, she goes to the chair and you explain why. Right. Set the alarm for how many minutes? Two minutes. Correct. She gets off, you place her back with no communication. She does her two minutes, you go back, you explain, and then you tell her you want her to apologise, okay? You need to tell Daddy you're sorry. Okay. Hugs and kisses. Get off the chair, move on. Dad had the steps down on paper, but it remained to be seen if he could execute it. You eat your food or you're going to go in time out. You've got a choice. You either eat or you go to time out. You either eat your lunch or you go in time out. First step, and Dad had fallen off the rails. I just needed to pull him aside to ask why. What is stopping you from doing this? I'm thinking she's too little. Right. OK, all right. So you think right now, at two and a half, she's too young she's to be disciplined. she's not able to understand what the timeout chair means. You think she's too young? Well, the think... answer is she's not. Okay. She is of the correct age where she would be disciplined now. All right, all right we're going to go on the timeout. Mom. Finally, Dad got going with Gianna, and I just hoped that he would remember all the steps. You're not listening to Daddy, and you're not eating. And no blinking, time out. Back on that chair. Don't talk, no communication, remember the paper. Why is it that even when it's written down, he doesn't do it correctly? Come on. <laughs> Don't talk, Don. Because it's not rocket science. You look at it, you see the steps, and you just do. Woo! What are you doing? What's that? What are you breaking doing? Breaking a rule. Do what you're supposed to do. It was obvious that he thought Gianna didn't understand what he was doing. And who's paying the price? Gianna. Stop for a minute here, because you're creating the failure, and guess you sitting on the timeout, not you. No, it's not right. No, it's not. And I'm not pleased with that. Get with the program. That's right. So that okay. your child doesn't have to be going through this 24-7. In the end, both Don and Gianna managed to do this for two straight minutes. Daddy put you in timeout because you didn't do what Daddy told you to do. You didn't eat your lunch. Now say sorry to Daddy. Sorry, Daddy? Oh, OK. I love you. Dad did the final steps of the timeout properly. I just hope that he can do it just as well from top to bottom whilst I'm gone. I want to let you guys know that I'm leaving this is it? Yes, I am leaving for wow. several days. Are they going to have difficulties? Oh, yes. Without a doubt, these kids are going to test them. Homework. Because mum and dad need help with their communication, whilst I'm away, I'm going to leave them with a communication exercise to do. When mum and dad need to talk about certain issues, they're going to write that down into the circle and they're each going to take turns until they come to the middle. And there, they will both come to a resolution. I hope, for their sakes, their kids' sakes, that they really continue to do this when I'm not there. All right, and follow through. Thank you. Yeah. Without Joe here for the next couple of days, I'm a little nervous that we're not going to be able to pull it off as good. We'll just be right back to where we were before. Thanks, Joe. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Oh. <laughs> this family have certainly shown a lack of faith in themselves whilst I've been there. I just hope it doesn't fall apart at the seams whilst I'm gone. The DeMello family have had a lot of work to do whilst I've been away. Hello. Hello. Hi, Jill. So I just hope that they've put their heads together and made it happen. Realistically, how well do you think you've done? I think I've done pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, more good than bad. All right, well, let's take a look then. Great. So the first thing we are going to take a look at is toy time out. What's this, a chair? You need a time out here, time out here. What did the baby do? He did a good time out What did he do? Was he naughty? Come on out. You're a good boy now. Come on, come play. Okay. <laughs> Very sweet. Okay, so to answer your questions, does your child understand? Mm. Oh, yes. Two years. She's learning. Surprisingly so, yeah. She's learning, and then what she'll do is do that in her own world with her own toys. And she'll mimic the life that she lives. Mm. And that's exactly what she's doing. So let's move on to yourself, Don, doing time outs. <laughs> All right, then you're going to go back and time out now. No, 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 no. Let go of the chair. Yes, you are. No! I said you are. 
Yeah. I'm not going to argue with you. Yeah. Why are you talking to him if he's in timeout? I was trying to teach him something. You're sabotaging the technique. He says something, you've got to get the last word in. He says something, you've got to get the last word in. And all you're doing is winding him up. I'm just saying, well, he's, he's used to going tit for tat, so I think he's having a little hard time trying to control his, you know, arguing <sighs> back and forth, because that's what he's used to doing. So he's falling into you're, old behavior. Correct, it's old behavior, but you're behaving like, like you're in a playground. You're not being the adult here. You're not even acting mature, Don. You need to think hard. Circles. Didn't support. If you say I didn't support your cause, and I'm telling you, then we need to go over the values and rules so I can support your cause. Just keep going around circles, honey, until we meet in the middle. I guess that's the idea of this, isn't it? Oh, Who's no. there? Oh, no! Is this re we didn't come to the middle. That's not resolved. I know. So it's your turn to write anyway. I'm not walking away from it. I'm trying to do well, two don't things know. at once. We're supposed to come to an agreement as we get to the middle. It's your turn to write. Yet again, every technique you're sabotaging. I don't care what show's on telly. It's not as important as what's going on between the pair of you. Right. How did you feel at the table by yourself? I felt like this is why I don't communicate, because I don't get anywhere. And I just felt like I was all alone. So basically then, you're living like a divorced couple, but underneath the same roof, to be honest. There's still a lot of work to be done. My question is, is whether you can actually look at yourself and see your flaws and change those. I hope so. Mm. Okay. Okay, thank Thanks, sir. I could see from watching the DVD that Dad was still struggling with discipline big time. However, Damon gave me an opportunity to show Dad how to do discipline again the correct way. Sit properly. Now finish eating. Dante, sit down. Dante, sit down. Damon, go. Dante should have been on a warning by now. I already did warn him. I already did warn him. Right. Two, about three minutes ago. Then follow through. Actually, I don't think I've ever spent as much time going over the steps of a naughty technique than I have in this family. It went in one ear and out the other. I told you. <laughs> you got up. You got up. I told you not to get out of the table. Now you stay in time out. And Don had a major problem with being quiet. So I just thought the only way I'm going to teach this guy how to do that is to really put a mask over his mouth. This is what I'm going to ask you to wear to keep your mouth. He handed over a, uh, a muzzle, pretty much, in the form of a, uh, a mask type of thing. You know, it worked, but it's still hot. Believe me, even with that on. Eventually Dante realised that he wasn't going to win this one and Dad was going to knuckle down and do what was necessary. And it was the first time that Dad got it right. So, we go back and we do what? Explanation. Hi. Hi, Dante. Hi, Daddy. Well, the reason why I had you in time out is because you didn't do what Daddy said. You didn't sit in the, at the table until you were excused. Oh, Daddy, you're sorry. Sorry. Give me a hug. And a kiss. I tell you, it's been a long time coming, but I can say now safely that Dad does know how to do a timeout right. Whoa, okay, all right. Finally, progress. But unless Mum and Dad come together, then nothing actually will ever get solved. Ready for some work? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Good, because I will need you to put your coats on because we're going outside. Okay. It is coming to the end of my time with Diane and Don, but what I want to do is to take them outside. There's a very important point to be made. As you can see, we have a very large 
block of ice. It's quite symbolic because buried deep down at the bottom was a photograph of the pair of them. Was that a picture of my photo? Yes. We, we didn't have children yet. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, yeah, our first year of marriage, actually. Do you remember how you both felt in that photo? I do. How? Excited to be together, happy. Less stressful, free. But it takes work. It takes work to remain in that place. Mm. And I just really basically spoke to them about the importance of their marriage, their parenting. These things take time and you have to chip away at making sure that you are willing every day to put in what's necessary to get the results that you want. So take a nice pick because you're both going to chip away from the top oh. to reach that photo underneath. Let's right, baby. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it. I thought it was a pretty neat thing to do because we were chipping away at all the stress and aggravation. We just got to this happy couple and it just brought back a lot of memories. There it is, baby. I really think that I've made Dad think about his behaviour and how that affects his wife, his marriage, his kids, his family. If you want how you both felt here, mm. then you've got to work it. Do you want it, baby? Yes. I want it. Mm. Let's go inside. And as we started to walk away, he turned around very casually and said, It's my fault. What was that I just heard? It's my fault, really. Why? Well, it's hard to own up. Why? I don't know. Stubborn. I'm a man, I don't know. Ego. I'm feeling that all of this is really making a deep impact on Dad. So when we got into the house, I asked him just to express how he's been feeling to Mum. Sorry, I ain't the way I've been acting. My uh, selfishness. I hope that from this point on that we can uh, move forward and raise our kids the way that we want to raise them, you know, the right way. So I want to try. I'm going to try and work at it. Because I love you and the kids. Thank you. It's my whole life. Yeah. I love you too. Listen, so now I'm going to go. When I went in, Mum and Dad weren't really on the same page together. The kids never went out and played. Mum felt like she was stuck in the house and Dad really couldn't be bothered, to be honest with you. But now they've got communication and they're enjoying their family life. Bye-bye, darling. Bye-bye. I didn't think anything could come of this crazy, stressed-out family. What a difference. I'm just going home now. Ah. Take care. Make me kiss, kiss, kiss. Ah. Ignorance, I guess, is bliss, but there wasn't much bliss in my house, I'll tell you. Joe helped us with a lot of things. How are you, huh? I know the kids are going to be a lot happier. They're going to see the change in their mom and dad, and it's going to make for a happier family. Done. Hey, Keep going. Keep going, OK? Keep going, OK. All right, listen, remember your family. It's a priority. Sometimes it was some hard pills to swallow. Bye-bye. Nice job. Well, I think they, we can work it out, and I think it's, it's going to work. I know it's going to work.